So what is a context filter? In today's video, I'm gonna be explaining to you how context filters work in Tableau. Now you may not know what they are, so hang with me, I'm gonna explain everything about them. If you're new here, my name's Andy. I created this channel to help you launch, grow, and unlock your career in data. I post lots of tips and tricks each week, so make sure you click on subscribe so you don't miss any of them. And while you're at it, if you enjoy what you're seeing, go ahead and give this video a like. Lastly, go to andycreeble.com and sign up for my newsletter. Every Friday morning, I release an exclusive access video, recap the previous week, and provide discounts to products that I create. Let's get started. A context filter in Tableau is a filter that gets applied before any other filter in a worksheet. Regular filters, like dimension filters, table calculation filters, get applied after a context filter gets applied. A context filter works independently of all other filters in the worksheet. Context filters can significantly improve the performance of your workbook in two particular cases. One, when you're working with very large data sets. And that's because the context filter reduces the data before you bring it into Tableau. The second scenario is when you have lots of filters in your workbook. The context filter will get applied first, therefore making those other filters faster when they need to do their job. In this video, we're gonna look at two use cases that'll explain everything you need to know about context filters. Our first example is gonna look at a top five. Let's drag state to the rows and sales to the columns and sort the bars descending. For illustration purposes, I'm gonna drag region to color. And we can see that two of the top five are in the east, two are in the west, and one is in the central. If I apply a top five filter to my state, I'm gonna right click on state and choose filter. In the general tab, choose use all, go to the top button and change it to by field, and let's make it the top five. Click on okay. And now we have our top five states. But what happens now if I filter by region? What I'm trying to look at here is the top five states within the east region. If we drag region to the filters and only choose east, we'll see we only get two states. Why is that? If I go back and remove that region filter, you'll see that two of my top five were in the east. When I apply that filter, Tableau is looking at our region filter and our top five filter together. So Tableau is trying to find any of the top five states that are in the east region. But what we're trying to do is look at the top five in the east. So in order to do that, we want our region filter to be applied first. If you right click on the region field on the filter shelf and choose add the context, Tableau will turn that field gray, indicating that it's a context filter. And notice now we have the top five states in the east region. What Tableau is doing here, it's first filtering the region to the east and then calculating the top five. Let's edit that region and let's pick the south. Click on OK. And now we get the top five states in the south. Let's look at a second example. The first thing we wanna do in this second example is create a level of detail expression that is our sales by region. If I hold my control key down on a PC or command on a Mac and drag sales on top of region, Tableau will automatically create a level of detail expression for us. Let's right click on that field and see what Tableau did. Tableau has created a fixed level of detail expression that is returning the sales by region. Click on okay and drag region to the rows and our new sales by region field to the text shelf. And we can see the sales by region. But what I wanna look at is how are my office supplies performing within each of these regions. So if I drag category to the filters and choose office supplies and click on okay, Notice nothing changes in my table. Well, that's because our level of detail expression calculates before our dimension filter. But if I wanna look at the sales for each reason just for the office supplies category, I can right click on category and choose add to context. And now we're looking at the sales in each region for office supplies. These are two very simple examples. There's of course lots and lots of use cases for context filters. Here's what you need to remember. A context filter gets applied before all other filters in the worksheet. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'll see you next time.